Hi everyone. Welcome back to this channel. In this channel, we talk about personal finance, our life experience, money, investment, and our journey to financial freedom. Hopefully, we can share with you guys. We're halfway there. <laughs> mm, yeah. In this video, we're going to talk about um, a guest Q and A. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, send them through. Or if not, write them in a comment and I'll try to, um, and well, we'll try to answer them as best as we know possible. Um, go from there. So, the first one. Okay, so this is um, got to do with, I guess, your mobile phones in a sense. So, currently going through my cutbacks with the phone bill. I'm switching my current phone, my current phone plan from a 200 gig at $135 per month. Mm -hmm. Um, to thirty dollars per month at thirty gig. Two hundred gig is a lot. Um, I will now need to look at home internet. Um, I had never had it before, as it usually going through by um, personal hotspot. Um, personally, we use we use everything. We use home internet. Yes. Um, for I guess at home because it's unlimited plan. And that was like, how much was it? 70 bucks, I think it was? $70 a month. $70 a month. Yes. And we use, um, I guess, on our phones, um, I paid $85 per month. Um, that's three phone numbers at about 120 gig for three phones. Uh, one of them is for... Personal use. Personal use. Uh, one and of the them for business. Yeah. And then the other one's my, my number. So we have three phones, um, one of them for the business. And... We use a combination of both, um, either home plan as well as um, work, uh, sorry, mobile. The, the mobile hotspot thing. We don't use hotspot hot as much <coughs> because I found that it's not a stable. Not stable, yeah. yeah. Right? No, not stable, but depending where you are, because um, I, I usually go out and about quite mm. often, um, but as of combined, but that's because we have three numbers. Mm -hmm. um, how much is it that we pay? 85 we pay, plus, yeah. 70. But you always found discount. We used <laughs> we used to pay a bit more than eighty five dollars, and then every saw, year. So mm. um, my hack is this: so um, at the end of your twelve months contract, let's say, or twenty four months, whatever it is that you're you're in at the current stage, at the end of that period, I always go back to the um, to the company. Oh, if not shop around, mm. uh, that's my hack. Um, shopping around mean like in in our shopping mall. Mm. There's at least two. There's yeah. two providers in there. Yeah. So and work out whichever one is the cheapest. And we are not in contract. We month. Yeah, we month, month to month. Yes. So, um, I mean, if if it's just one person, I, I reckon thirty gig is enough. Yeah. If it's one person, depending if you're gonna use, um, you know, a watching lot a lot outside. of movies, like right. watching a lot of movies or something mm. like that. Like you're doing a lot of streaming, watching a lot of YouTube, like this one, um, <laughs> maybe, um, like. Maybe in the in the beginning, um, at one stage we did turn it off, and see if we can live with did we? thirty gig. But on oh, an average, yeah. we hit maybe about fifty percent. Yeah. Um, but we did, we get a reminder anyway from our um, provider, provider if we go mm. thirty uh, fifty percent or seventy five yeah. percent um, from our data allowance. But, but we we'll never use, go beyond it. No, we don't use much as well. If you're working from home, on the mm. other hand, it's a different story. Um, yes. You probably need a lot more, and depending what type of um, the the what type of data that you need to pull. But personally, we have home internet and a mobile internet. And it depends on if your person, well, a single person, I think you still should have a home internet because it's just not stable. Yeah, we did a day training at one stage, and yeah. I wasn't stable using a hotspot. So. Mm. Um, okay. Next one. Next question. This one's a bit um, long one, but go ahead. I've recently paid off forty-two thousand dollars of debt. Good on you. Hopefully, I that's still, personal debt. <laughs> yeah, I still have a personal loan remaining with a balance of eighteen thousand dollars. The interest rate is fifteen point sixty-nine percent. I'd obviously like to reduce that. What's the best way to go about this? Is the bank likely to negotiate, or am I better to move the loan to another creditor? I like to avoid any more activity on my credit file. I am okay, so she tried or he tried to avoid to go to another creditor. 
I'm $2,007 ahead in payments on the loan currently. That's $2,700 ahead. Yeah. Based on. Okay, mm. so you've got, you paid off 42, that's consumer debt, 42,000 by, by the sound of it. Yeah. And then you still got $18,000 consumer debt at 15% interest. How would I go ta tackling about that? How would you do it? I'll look for another provider. I, I'm, at this stage, I don't think I'll care about my credit file. I'm sure it's already pretty <laughs> not nice. Mm. Not too nice, right? Yeah. Do you know that you can check on your credit file, your credit score? Yep. That's for free as well. You just have to wait for a few days, Google, uh, check your credit score. How do we do which it? One? I forgot a which one I was using. I don't know oh, one of them. Yeah. Well, once a year, we usually check it anyway. Yeah. Um, funny thing is, um, your credit file is a lot more better than mine. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, I'm like, okay, how does that work? And I guess I had multiple credit cards before we met. Um, but yeah, I'm like, how would I tackle it? Definitely, I would transfer that to, to if I was in their situation, I, I, would, I would change it to another creditor. Which um, provide less interest. One less interest. Yeah. Some of them, like... I know a couple of, um, I guess, acquaintance that I know, mm. they transfer it to a different a creditor and mm. they're getting about six months free oh, or something free? like that. Interest yeah. free. Like yeah, some yeah. of them give you yeah, a bonus or something like that yeah. uh, mm. where they freeze. Um, and that will help a lot. That would generate, you know, if you're paying 15% now on interest, mm. transferring to another provider, even if it's like a small amount, like, you know, out of 15,000 or out of 18,000, mm. you can only do half or five thousand of it it's mm. better off compared to paying 15 percent correct uh -huh, per annum. i know but if that um if he or she doesn't want to ruin the credit file maybe ask the current creditor of the bank mm -hmm. is there any way they can decrease one decrease the interest rate two maybe reduce the repayment a little bit like the total amount i don't think they will but if you don't ask this you, you wouldn't know they won't do it for you just yeah. ask the question if they're not going to do anything, just search for another one. Look for another provider that they can... They can do it. Yeah, do it for you. I'll do it for you. <laughs> Personally. So, <laughs> so, next question. Pana and I are currently saving hard and fast for a house deposit. Mm. Uh, good on you for that. I'm currently having a personal loan for, uh, for my car. Something of which I won't be paying off hypothetically by the time we're ready to go. Mm. Would anyone be kind enough to share the personal story regarding the mortgage while having a personal loan? And what sort of effect has it? How much were, how much were you approved for? Uh, off your, off income. your income then. Mm. I didn't. We didn't have the experience of getting a mortgage Plus with a uh, personal loan on it. Seriously, I would probably Use the money kill to off. pay off. He loved the, the car loan. Exactly. First. Why would you like to save up the money and then pay for a personal loan? Why? You're doubling. Like you, you're paying your mortgage mm. plus you're paying the personal loan. Because the money that she's, she or he is saving yeah. is not going to be faster than the interest. I would I, smash I that loan first. Correct. Always yeah. pay your debt first. Because um, it's not a good idea. Like I, I guess, to be honest with you, having multiple, um, I guess property loan if i were to look at it that way no actually i can't look at it that way so if i if i, I have a consumer debt no i'm just thinking out loud here so if <laughs> i have a consumer debt as well as an investment property i want to kill off the consumer debt because it's draining you yeah we, yeah. we mentioned that before just pay off all the debt first and then you start saving because let's say your interest for your loan is five percent okay, if you're lucky if you're lucky maybe ten percent Personal loan. Personal loan, okay. Normally yeah. they charge you five to ten percent or even higher. Yeah. But when you save it, at best you will get 3% Two, three percent nowadays. So <laughs> yeah. it, it doesn't make sense. Smash just pay that, it. Yeah, pay it off and, and you will save much faster. Yeah. And, and once you pay that off, don't get into it again. Yeah. yeah. So um and mortgages should be uh, I don't know how to look at it. Uh, maybe in our life anyway, mortgage is the only consumer debt that we have. Mm. The rest of them, if we can't afford it, we're not going to buy it. If we can't pay it off right there and then in full, can't afford it. Then I can't not afford it. I'm not going to buy it. It's mm -hmm. a simple as fact. Mm -hmm. um, the less consumer debt you have, the better it is. Life is a lot more simpler the less yeah. consumer debt that you have. Yeah. I say. Well, we get into debt only if we can generate more income. Yeah. That's it. That debt then, has to create then more the income. interest. Yeah. Okay. Now here we go. Next one. 
Yep. Okay. Can someone yeah. help me out with this? Now I'm out of debt. Good on you. It's time to start saving for a home loan. Good on you. Question one. Should we save a deposit, then talk to a broker? How do you know how much to save? Question. question one. Okay, answer this first. Let's do a question one. Should you save a deposit and talk to a broker? Yeah, Having yeah, gun. Nay, huh? <laughs> you never know. You go first. Yeah, yeah, nay. Well, how much can you borrow? That's the thing. If you don't ask a broker or, or get a, a, a pre-approval, then you don't know how much you can borrow, then you tackle your deposit. Because maybe you can borrow $2 million. I'll and say ten percent of two million dollars is two hundred thousand dollars. Ten percent. Ten percent. Sorry. Ten. Let's say ten percent, or twenty percent is four hundred thousand dollars. So you're going to save that. Yeah. That depends on how much you can borrow. Yeah. You. Yeah. No, I don't. I'll go a different way. So I'm like, mm. uh, it says in here, how should we have a deposit then talk to a broker? What's your end goal in mind? As in, like your house is it gonna be a yeah like a. The end goal in mind your exit strategy is it just buying the house just one mm. house mm. is that going to be your principal place of home um is it in the neighborhood that you're living in look at the pricing price point as well mm -hmm. like your goal would be let's say if i have this amount of dollars this is the house like i guess configuration mm -hmm. back to that two million dollar thing yeah um versus maybe like hey if you're looking at a five hundred thousand dollar house mm -hmm. Um, a two, what is that? Twenty percent deposit. That's what, hundred grand. Yeah, hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand dollars. So there's your goalpost. Your goalpost will be different compared to a two million dollars. I have a goal in mind. What price point of the property you're looking at, and mm. what is your income? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Maybe and talk to a broker first, right? Depending well, you on your income, you, you wouldn't really have to talk you don't to a broker. To. You can just you go go to um the website. Sometimes they like tell you if you earn this much or, or the repayment will be this amount. No, you're the, borrowing power. Yeah. How much oh, you can borrow yeah check from there first it, and then if you you have some sort of deposit let's say maybe you are you already build up five or ten percent talk to a broker start from there there's actually about three questions here. is the that? second question is how much how do you know how much to save oh uh-huh i'll say coming from our portfolio buying a few investment property i'll say have minimum f 20% is your deposit yep. plus another 10% as a buffer. Duty. And then you got to pay stamp oh duty yeah, as well. 20% is just the deposit mm -hmm. plus stamp duty plus another 10% of a buffer in case of emergency. Yeah. So work it out roughly about 30%, but 20% of that is just for the home loan. And then the other 10% will be just for the buffer in case if there's a repair, maintenance, or in case if mm. it, um, you can't make the repayment or, or something like that. So how much is, well, depending on the price point as well. So I'll, but on a ballpark figure, I would have at least 30%. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Next one. Um, Where got? do you find out what grants apply to you? First home owner, so much conflicting info out there. <laughs> first home owner grant. I don't rely on first home owner's grant um, because we, we haven't actually I applied. used... You used yours. It was back then ages ago, like 10 years ago. Um, it applied for for properties under certain of amount and it doesn't has to be brand new. And I think now we have to be brand new. And it changes, it changes all the time. Yeah, it changes all the time. So don't rely on a first home owner's grant. Mm. That's how I look at it. Just look at what is the budget that you're looking for? Like what type of house are you looking for? Is it a $2 million house? Is it a $500,000 house? Or is it a $200,000 house? Mm. So that price point can figure out, okay, then based on a that price point, I have to save 30% as a buffer, 20% as a deposit, plus administration costs stamp duty legal and all that jazz mm -hmm. and then another 10 percent in case of an emergency something broken down right there and then mm -hmm. you know what i mean and that's that's the simplest format i guess yeah so yeah hopefully that helps you guys out um we do quite a lot of this q a um if you do have any q questions um by all means send us to us. to us and we'll try to do um same thing see ya see you bye next bye. time bye